For this video, I'm going to assume that you have um, an expression pedal already set up and you understand the basics of setting up the expression pedal assignments in the Kemper. If you don't, um, take a look at the previous video which describes in detail the process for connecting up expression pedals. But just as a real quick reminder, let's just go into the settings so we can see what we have set up here. I'm going to press System and then I'm going to page across to the pedal that I have my expression pedal connected to. Now I'm using a Mission EP1KP. I have the expression pedal output, which is output 1 on the KP, connected to pedal 5 input on the profiler. And so I have the pedal type set to type 1, which is the um, linear tip to wiper configuration that's required for this pedal. So pedal type 1 it's the EP1 KP is always going to be pedal type 1. And then I have the function set to volume pedal. And then you can see when I move the pedal up and down, the calibrate shows the minimum maximum positions. So that's all working. The first thing we're going to run through is the tuner settings. So to get to those, I'm going to turn the main chicken head knob here to tuner. And then we'll see at the top that we have three different settings that we can enable. The mute signal, the bubble tuner, and the tuner at volume zero. So let's walk through those and what they do. We'll start with the mute signal. So the mute signal controls whether audio path goes through when the tuner is enabled or not. So I can enable that so that I can do silent tuning, or I can disable it so that I have audio signal while I'm tuning. So let's just demo that real quick. At the moment I'm muted, so when I turn the volume up and the tuner comes on, there's no audio path. So I can hit a string here and there's no audio coming through the speakers. If I disable that, now I have tuner and audio path at the same time. Okay, so that's the mute signal. The bubble tuner is just the display. The default for this version of um, firmware is the strobe tuner that we see here. If I switch this to bubble tuner, that brings up the older bubble style tuner. But the default is strobe and you can choose whichever you want. The last one here is tuner at volume zero. This gets a little more complicated because there's another value in the rig settings that also has to be set. And I'm gonna go over that here in just a minute. But for the moment, I have that set correctly for this to work. So tuner volume at zero automatically enables the tuner when the volume going into the camper is at zero. So this is helpful if you want to um, get into a silent mode, just set the volume to zero and then it will automatically enable the tuner on the display. If you don't want that feature and you want the display to stay static, you can turn it off. So let's just demo that real quick. I have it enabled right now, so I have the tick box there tuner at volume zero. So let's switch over to a preset and then I'm going to use the expression pedal which is set to control the volume and I'm going to set that to heel down which is zero volume and then we'll see that the tuner comes on automatically and it comes on with all the settings that we enabled previously. If I don't want that feature I can disable it and now when I move the pedal down to zero, the display stays the same. To access the volume pedal settings, the majority of them are in the rig settings. So we're going to press the rig button, and that brings up the rig settings. And then we're going to use the page buttons to page across till we get to the one that says volume pedal settings. First one we're going to take a look at is range. The range setting allows us to control what the range is of the volume pedal between quiet or silence and between a maximum volume and that can be a 0 dB volume in the middle or it can be a boost pedal. So let's take a look at how that works. At the moment I have it set to minus 5 which is the minimum volume, that's as far as it'll go. And in this position it's going to be 0 volume at heel down. 
So I have an expression pedal connected and I have it in heel down right now. And there's no signal when I'm in heel down, that's completely muted. And then as I move the pedal forwards, it gets louder. So I hit maximum volume at all the way toe down. Alright, that's typically how you would use a volume pedal, that's the, the common configuration. But it doesn't have to be like that, I can set a minimum volume. Let's say for example I wanted the expression pedal to switch between a, a rhythm and a lead. So my heel down volume, I don't want to be absolute silence, I want it to be maybe 50% volume or somewhere around there. So I do that with this, I'm just going to adjust the range control. Set it to about here. Now in heel down position, I have some volume. And then as I move it forward, I'll get to maximum volume at toe down. So that lets me use it um, as a range pedal, as something between rhythm and lead or different types of ranges if I don't want to have absolute zero at, uh, at heel down. The problem with that is that because now with our range setting is off the minimum, we never actually get to zero volume and so my automatic tuner function no longer works if we exit out here and I'll put it in uh, zero volume on the pedal. And we'll see, because we don't actually get to zero volume now, I still have some signal passing through. It doesn't bring up my tuner, even though I've got that function enabled. So if I want to bring that back, I have to go back to the rig setting, and I have to set this back to minus five. And now when I go to zero volume, it brings the tuner up. Now if I turn it all the way up to the midpoint, which is zero, this is effectively the same as having no volume pedal at all. So I'm right in the middle now. And at this point, when I move the volume pedal up and down, nothing really is going to happen. You can see the pedal going up and down there, but the volume is staying the same. Now if I go the other way, I can use it as a boost pedal. So I'm just going to crank the master down a little bit here. And in this position, if I crank up to plus, say plus four, something like that, okay, now my pedal is going to act like a boost pedal. I'm going to have normal volume in heel down, and then I'm going to have boost as I go up. Let's try that. So I'm heel down right now. This is my normal volume. And as I move forward, I'm going to boost the volume. Anytime I want to go back to the default settings, it's just a matter of winding the volume, the range control back to minus five. And now we'll be back to the default. Crank the master up again a little bit. Now in uh, heel down, I'm zero. And in toe down, I'm maximum volume. Next to the range setting is the location setting, and this controls the position of the volume pedal in the signal chain. The first setting is off. In this position, the volume pedal doesn't do anything. I move the pedal up and down, there's no change, the volume pedal is disabled. We can change that to pre-stomp, so in this position the volume pedal is at the beginning of the signal chain. This is similar to plugging a guitar into a volume pedal and then going into your pedal board and then into your amps. So the, in this case the volume pedal is first in the signal chain. So if I turn on a gain pedal, for example, this is going to affect the input into the gain. So my minimum volume position, that's my clean tone, and then as I move the volume pedal forward,
because it's the, at the front of the signal chain and it's increasing the signal level into the uh, distortion pedal. So I can clean up just by rolling back the volume pedal. If I change it to post stomps, then this positions the volume pedal at the end of the stomps, but before the rest of the signal chain. So it's the last pedal in my stomp boxes, but it's still going into the input of the amplifier. So in my heel down position now, I will have all the distortion of the distortion pedal because I'm on the back end of that. <laughs> As I move the volume pedal forward, it'll increase the gain on the amp. pre-effects position positions it after the amps but before the uh, the X range of effects so before the modulation delay and reverb and this means we can keep the tails on those effects after we've got to zero volume so let's demonstrate that real quick have some delay on the signal and then when I go to zero volume the tails on the main signal will be reduced in volume but the tails will remain on the effects. If I change it to post effects that puts it at the end of the effects chain and in this case when I go to zero volume it will work like a master volume and it will take out all of the signal including the tails. Now the volume pedal settings are per rig so what I'm setting here is right now for this particular rig. So let's uh, let's change that to, let's set that to say post stomps and then let's give ourselves a minimum volume range of about there. Okay, and then we'll store that. So now I'm putting my uh, volume pedal into the heel down position but because we changed the minimum volume setting that's still on and then as we move it forward it'll get louder and then it's also we set it to post stomp so if I turn my stomp switch on we'll see that the stomp level stays the same and we're just controlling the amp volume. Now those settings are for that, that particular rig so remember we have a I'm at zero volume now or I'm heel down but we're not actually zero volume because we changed the minimum volume settings. Now if I switch to a different rig where it has the volume pedal to be zero at heel down, have no volume. That's because the volume settings are per rig. So for each rig, you can set up a different minimum volume setting and a different position in the rig. Now, if you want to have a global setting, say for example that we really like this one, I can go to my rig settings 
and then I can select the one that I like. So I like this post stomps with a minimum 1.9 volume range. So now I'm going to hit lock volume pedal and that's going to lock that particular volume pedal setting across the rigs. So now if I exit out of there, so now I'm in the heel down, I still have some volume. Now I'm going to move to the next rig and I still have the same settings. It's still post stops. Still minimum volume setting. Exactly the same between the rigs. And then if I want to go back to a per rig setting, I just bring up the rig menu again and then I disable lock volume pedal. And now when I switch to different rigs, the original settings are back. Okay, I did say I was going to leave this for another video, and in fact I will do another one that um, covers the wire settings in more detail. But let's just r real quick run through the settings for the, um, for the water volume, and then we'll be finished up. Now let's bring up the system, so we can press the system button. And then as I said before, I have a Mission EP1 expression pedal, which has both a switch and a expression pedal. And we're going to uh, make a couple of changes here. Let's, uh, we'll put the wire in position B, so I'm paging over here to where I have my switch. So I have my switch connected to uh, pedal position 6 on the remote. So we're going to set that to mono switch, and we're going to set that to stomp B, and we'll put the wire in stomp B. And that should be it for that. Then we'll go over to um, pedal 5, and this is where I have the expression pedal, and Obviously this is set to volume pedal right now. Let's switch that to wah. Yeah, which is there. There we go. Alright, that should be all we need to do there. Now let's put a wah pedal in position B. We're going to hold in stomp B and we'll use the type switch and we'll find a wah. Okay, and let's uh, select that. And that, uh, that should do the job for now. That should pretty much be it, so let's save that. Press store. And then we need to check that our water volume settings are set in the rig. So we'll press the rig button, and here's our water volume, and that's enabled. Now when I hit the switch to enable the wire pedal, uh, that should come on, and our expression pedal should do wire. And then when we turn the wire off, it should work as a volume panel. So let's see if that works. Okay, so I have the wire turned off right now. And so I should be working as a volume pedal. So I'm in uh, heel down. We have zero volume. As I move the pedal up, I should get the volume increase. Push the pedal forward, hit the toe switch, and that will enable the wire. And now my pedal is controlling the wire. And then when I hit the switch again to turn it off, now it should go back to volume control.